What up, yo? I go by the undeniable name of Damo. Never been a lame. Oh. This is Jay Willard, the podcast killer, a.k.a. Podcast Poppy, a.k.a. The Pop Father. This here Willard Wednesday. You yep. about to get some ghetto news from your relationship gurus. Let's Bow, hold that. Bow, hold that. Grrr, ga, 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 ga. That's the Draco, the AK, all that shit. Look, oh, yeah, shit look, come on now. You playing. You over oh here. Sh- like, pit, pit, pit. <laughs> you shooting a Dillinger. <laughs> <laughs> Some old shit. Yo, what's the word? Damo, never been a lame old. Talk to me. What's the vibes? How was your week? Thank you, man. What the fuck uh, going on? Week was, was, was good. Um, I just got I felt, I just got reintroduced back into the skating world out here. The fucking, hmm. um, you know, Atlanta's a skate culture. That's um, a fact. But there's a Chicago night. In Atlanta. In Atlanta. Okay. Oh, nigga. It's Shalana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So A Lago. So the shit is cool, really. <laughs> a Lago. A Lago. Huh. Exactly. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Um so yeah, them niggas they want me to uh they they, they want me to DJ. For some of this for the So Damo about to have I, a, I might, a I Dame be, night. Um, legit. Yeah, out here doing some skate stuff, man. Oh, word? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool for niggas to know me. I walk in and I'm like, damn. Oh, you was feeling yourself. Was you you like, chill, 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 yeah, chill, yeah, chill. Yeah, 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 it's cool. It's cool. Get off me. <laughs> okay, so so what, is it, so what does a celebrity look like in, in your world? Well, in the skate world, it's amazing. It's kind of dope, man. I ain't making no money, so it ain't that damn rich. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I <laughs> still got to go to work, nigga. So. <laughs> I got to cock in tomorrow. Yeah, they, uh, it's, it's like hood celebrity, but I love mm. it, though. I love it. The fans and the people. That's why I do it. Yo, shit, yo, listen, I I like to see you flourish, King. Hey, do do your here, do your thing. What about you, sir? Good sir, good man. Good um, human. my week was dope. Um, my son had a football game, spanked them niggas twenty eight nothing. I know he had broke his yeah, own. he broke his wrist for a little bit, but he back. I mean, like we do. He won twenty eight nothing, spanked them niggas. Yeah, yeah it was it wasn't even. I mean, was come on now. No, man, listen, that's what you do when you have superior genes, nigga. It just runs in the family. That's all I'm saying. That's what's up. I'm but glad nah, he got back out there after breaking his wrist. Too. Yeah, that's yeah. But come on, look, who's his dad, bro? He was about do to quit, though, do we it? give up? He was about to we quit, not, no, he was. And he said it mad times. I don't want to do this no more. I don't want to play no more. And then he asked me, he, kids are smart. Yeah. I'm over here giving all the inspirational words you're supposed to give. Like, right. I'm, I'm sounding like Coach Carter. <laughs> I'm sounding like. The, the coach and Rudy I'm sounding like All these niggas Like all the motivational Denzel speeches. The you feel me Like the Titans <laughs> I'm sounding like Fucking Russell Crowe and, and, and fucking Gladiator Like I'm sounding like Them niggas Yeah yeah He gonna say You ever broke your wrist Dad <laughs> <laughs> What I'm gonna do Tell the truth No I never broke my wrist So how you make it sound Like everybody just <laughs> Yo When I'm saying He was You should be like Yo no I was a better athlete But um <laughs> Low key, I was like, "How you think I'm stupid? <laughs> Do I look terrible to you? No, what the fuck. What you think this is?" But well, once again, you can't say that to a kid I'm that a just broke it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's fucked up. <laughs> On mad, it was hilarious. But no, but yeah, he he definitely painted me. He he backed me in the corner with that. Like mm. I'm over here giving him, "Oh, don't worry about it. it happens to the best yeah. of us, and we don't level. We never let nothing get us down, and we always gonna bounce back and be on." That's hilarious. And he's like, "Oh yeah, that sounds good, but you ever broke your wrist, Dad?" I'm like, "Oh shit, you're I'm right." Sorry. Didn't it show you that that nigga was in pain? Uh, yeah, he's like, he's like, "There's no way you felt what I felt, and you talking about going hit somebody? You bug it." That's nah, what's up, bro. It made sense to me, but yeah, that's that's that was my week. I saw my son whoop ass. Um, low key, if they keep doing what they doing, we gonna be in Miami from December second to the tenth. It's the the eight and under World World Series, um, Super Bowl and playoffs. <laughs> It's a real league, nigga. No idea. You thought we was just for play, play? Right. No, this is a real ass league. And if they win, they made they made the playoffs. If they continually win, continuously win, yeah. The Super Bowl, excuse me, is in Miami in December. That's cool. So what you think I'm gonna do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we in Miami in December, That's nigga. Fuck that. That's what's up. That's what's up. So what's going on, man? What we got? Uh, what we got planned today, bro? Oh, you said you had a show. I'm nah, excited. I, I, I bet. You just like just showing up type shit. But we got some hood shit. We got some funny shit. We got some real shit. We got a lot. All right. Hit me with them. Where All you want to start? I always ask you. I always want to start good in the beginning. Something positive. Wow. I, oh, scared shit out of me. I don't think I have something positive. Nothing positive? I don't know. All right. Well, hit me with something. Me, me. Oh, well, no. I can, I can make something up. What's up? No. Hit me with it. Not going to do it. I want to start... 
in Brooklyn. Okay. Um, there's a pastor who was on a live stream preaching to the church and got robbed at gunpoint. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what? On live. On live. Yes. Um, so we're gonna go to Bishop Lamont Whitehead, Brooklyn resident, Brooklyn pastor. Wow. He leads a, a rather large congregation. It's kind of like a mega church, but you know, in New York. Okay. Um, you been to a church? I never been to a church. Okay. I never been. Um, it's in Canarsie, though. Okay. I believe it's in Canarsie. Um, Four hundred thousand dollars in jewelry and money were taken. <laughs> On live, though. On live. That's crazy. I didn't see that. That's wild. It's funny because I have the video. <laughs> oh, well, I was just gonna say, good sir. <laughs> I need you to see this. Okay. Is it long? Pause. No. How long is it? Stupid. <laughs> but just just watch that. Right. We'll put it on the screen so everybody can see it. But okay. This man is on live oh. preaching the good word. Oh, you see it. All right. There you go. Oh, it's not the audio. Oh. Wow. We can put, we can put audio on it if you want. No, I'm saying that he... he Crouch down. Oh wow! So imagine we we we, we can cut the shit. Oh, he walk out with the gun and everything. <laughs> oh wow! My bad. No, it's, it's a lot of activity. It's it, crazy because you ne- you didn't see this. I did not see that. Cool. We are gonna talk about it. That's why. So as you just saw, the pastor is on the pulpit. Yeah. Preaching the word. And somebody does something in the back. He's like, oh whoa whoa whoa, y'all yeah, got it, y'all got it. And he just lay down. Wow. And they proceed to rob a bishop of the church. I mean, they do got all the money, though. But. $400,000 in jewelry, gone. Why did you have $400,000 so, in jewelry on so you? So the question started piling in. Yeah. Why did you have $400,000 worth of jewelry on? Yeah. I mean, it's one thing if they robbed the tip jar. But wait. I want to offer opposition to that. Okay. I work hard for my bread. I can't, I can't wear my shit. Like, I work hard for this chain and these rings. I can't wear it? That's why you get robbed. I've never been robbed. I've never been robbed. He's day in my life. Ex- but it's a pastor. That is crazy, though. No, no, seriously, seriously. That's, that's, that's wild. I don't even have, like, a take on it. That's just wild. Do you think, do you think the pastor was wrong for having $400,000 in jewelry on? Well, okay, wait, wait. Let's, let's backtrack. He, they didn't say that he had $400,000 on. Everybody that got robbed, it totaled about four hundred thousand dollars. Oh well, yeah. Well, black folks be having our jewelry. Like I, <laughs> mm. we be so, having our. Dollars. So so a church, a yeah, church a got church. robbed. So, you know, people get blingy for church. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's live, um, yeah, he gets blingy for church. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, it's a good place to rob. As you said, if you're trying to get some real money. Did you just say the church was a good place to rob? You seen that movie First Sunday? I did see the movie First Sunday. That's why. Pretty the funny movie. That's where all the money at. And I tell you something, I did know. I just found this out. One day I was talking to somebody and um, I was like, man, I wonder how much all the employees, I'm still talking to you. I think that's what, <laughs> and I was like, I wonder how much the employees. I'm talking to somebody. Yeah. And I was like, man, I wonder how much the employees of a church get paid. Yeah. And I found out that they don't get paid. I have no I, idea, bro. Okay, so we about to have a conversation that we about I to have. have no so, idea. so let's have a conversation, right? Let's do it. For as long as we know, Mega churches. I'm gonna say mega churches. Yeah. The mega churches. The the pastors be the richest niggas in the church. He the only one getting paid. No, but their salaries. I had no idea. No, but their salaries in the church. Niggas, Is it? Yeah, Somebody niggas get paid. Doing the payroll when you walk in and hey, baby, it's she's the treasurer. Don't Keep you? going. I got your name. I got your name. Uh-oh. The treasurer. The, the, mm-hmm. Know the bishop. Yeah, what do he do? Deacon, the bishop. What do the bishop and the deacon? He do? protect the rook. I don't know, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> some chess shit. I don't <laughs> fucking know what he do. Like, do anybody know? He be bishoping. Nigga, he, 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 he be bishoping. <laughs> but they like a junior pastor, no? Yeah, well, I get that. Like if the, the yeah, pastor, pastor in training, like yeah, that, they, they step in. But why be like six bishops, two deacons? It's a, it's no, but the deacon is the junior bishop. You're going down. Like the, it's the it's the pastor. Then the bishop, then the deacon. Like, one more year where he croak out. Forget yeah, it. Yeah, they okay. got to go right. do training. All right. All right. But yeah, I just didn't know. I didn't realize that. Um, I didn't realize that a lot of, it, with the mega churches, there are salaries. 
Yeah, you know the, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you know it's, it's a huge congregation. But bro, bro them, them it, those small churches. If your church has a TV contract, them niggas is on salary. Yeah, Trust yeah. me, that's a contract. I, I just didn't know, bro. I was like, I, I. You know why churches generate so much money? Hope. <laughs> Faith. <laughs> no, nigga. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Yo, them niggas is non for profit organizations. Yeah, they don't pay taxes. So all the money that they take in is day bread. But that's why everybody, like not everybody, but that's why a lot of people had a little small, little rinky dink churches. But let's let's talk about New York. Oh there be God. six churches on one block, with the Chinese store in the middle, the corner stores on both ends, liquor and a liquor store right across the street from it. It's and by design. I don't know how them churches keep going. It be what do you mean they no, get they're getting tax no, free money weekly? Be like ten people in there. Yes, and giving one hundred and fifty dollars each. You know how much you can get for faith? Oh, we about to start talking some real shit now. Because I'm over here like, fuck what Yo, I'm doing. No. Yo, we need to open the church, man. Bro, you know how much you can get for faith? You know how much someone's faith is worth, nigga? Damn. You know the people who sell holy water <laughs> and their sis is Dasani? <laughs> like, <laughs> yo, niggas yo, buy them sis off of faith. That. My mama brought the prayer cloth. The, the, Bro, the prayer your cloth. mom bought a prayer cloth? I, it, it was one of them days I almost So we yo we we could quantify her faith. I literally her faith is twenty nine ninety five, nigga. That's nuts, bro. When she opened her prayer package. <laughs> 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 she, I was like, my what is this? She was like, oh my prayer package came. I was like, your prayer package? What did you mean? Dog. It was a half a shot of water. <laughs> It's a half a shot of water, yo. a fucking handkerchief, chill out, and like a little Bible and like a oh, passage. Shit. And I was like, "What did you pay for this?" <laughs> it was like twenty five dollars or some shit. I was like, "No, no, it be, bro, it be two payments of thirteen ninety five. Fucking like. over sending people shots of water, fam. Like I was like, no. bro, that shit said <laughs> bottled by Coca Cola. <laughs> like, you read your little yeah. scripture, and I was like, "What did you do with the water?" Like, what the- you pour out a little something for your dad, the funeral. Like, what do we do? What are we celebrating with this water? <laughs> nah, you, chill out. You, you, you know, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. <laughs> Yo. Bro, like. Mm. You splash it on your forehead. Do you use the the, 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 the handkerchief. Cloth. Yeah. <laughs> bro, nah, that's funny. It's funny. Stop making fun of the church, bro. Don't do that. Don't make fun of the church. That is not, that's not right. <laughs> They've been robbing us for so many years. Man. You can't say that. Because what's your faith worth? Nigga, you don't know. So you can't say that. It's not robbery. None of that if, money going to God. If I w- you don't know that? Who doing God taxes? <laughs> Who is... <laughs> Bruh, what are we talking about? God don't give us no receipt. Oh, you said God like Trump. <laughs> he just <laughs> can't find the taxes. Heard it. Heard it. That's hilarious. I'm just saying. Yo. Anyway. All right, nah, no, no, no. But... <laughs> Do you think it was weird? Never mind. I just, I mean, Never mind. Honestly, niggas Never mind. in Brooklyn do whatever. Like I, I've seen stuff like that happen. Not, not, not on no live stream, bro. You've never seen that before. But I also think the that- world got introduced to online robbery, nigga. Like we saw that <laughs> shit. We saw it. Oh man. Well, mm. tighten up that security, bro. You know, that's it. You would think that. Never mind. All them deacons stand yeah. around. I, I don't want to get too serious. We're going to leave it All alone. Right, let's go. That's what's next. I want to talk about something funny. Okay. Chris Brown. Okay. Our beloved Chris Brown that we love so much, and he's more talented than, than Michael Jackson, which is a fact. Um, I didn't get done that shit. No, it's, okay. a, it's a fact. He is, he is more talented. Not a fact. But Chris Brown is charging $1,000 for a meet and greet. I did see that. Yes. And the pictures that are coming from the meet and greet Bro. are absolutely hilarious. Hilarious. I, have you seen him? Yeah. I've, you've seen him, right? He be holding people all funny, and then they, yo, it's hilarious. It's prom pictures. Yeah, he be doing yeah, the, he yeah, do the yeah. wrap around, no. like the the proud yeah, straight yeah, back yeah. look. No, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah. but but I got a lot of questions. Mm-hmm. Would you pay a thousand dollars to see your favorite artist, like your number one artist? This is a meet and greet. You behind the scenes, like, would you pay a stack to see Common? I'ma say. Ooh. Got him. Yes, I know. I know my people's Ooh. cool. Common, you got a thousand out. No, Common has tickets. Last time I met Common. Common got tickets. You can see the show. Yeah. You also get a behind the scenes. You also get a picture, meet and greet, shake the hands. You have a conversation with Common mm. for a thousand dollars, and you see the show. If Is I, that worth it to if you? If I did not do music, I would. Hmm. Because what happens is, because I do music, 
I'm, um, I get the smoke and mirrors. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So it's not so like, oh my God, it's you. It's like, bro, I rap, I do shows too. You know what I'm saying? We come so off the you, stage, you, people feel like, oh my God, it's you. Like, so I, you don't get starstruck? Not any, well, <laughs> only the one time. I mean, so, so I talk, nigga. Uh, last time I got starstruck was, um, it was in New York. I went to see Common when he was dropping off um, his book. He, he had just finished his, his book. Um, and Common, my favorite rapper. That's that's not like he's been my favorite rapper since '97. So, um, I'm, back when we had phone books, I'm consistent. Uh, <laughs> I found his number in the phone book. <laughs> no, but um, <laughs> uh, but no, no, no. So so what happened was I was there with my boy Reggie. Shout out to Reggie Premier, and and I'm in line like to get the book signed. Like like a fan, it felt good to just be a fucking fan, fam. Mm-hmm. Like, to pay a thousand dollars, but it felt good to just be regular, like not be. So, how much would you pay for common? Pause. I pay for that book? Shit, I didn't want it. So that was it. So, bro, you get this book so, money. So, so if common was like, "Yo, I'm having a, an exclusive album release is two fifty, and that's why I say stop bullshit, bro. You you bullshit in the community, Dame. Ah. Don't do that. I might I might pay two hundred. I no, I said two fifty. <laughs> I'm trying to like. You trying to low blow, low I, I, blow, I, I, low I, I ball. Might, I might pay two fifty. Cool, it's three hundred. Nah. So three hundred is your limit then? Uh, yeah. No, yeah. I'm sorry, two two seventy five. I mean, if you do two seventy five, you can do three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna be fifteen cents. Yo, you how you haggling? <laughs> it's like nigga haggling the hypothetical. Yeah, like three like hundred, nah. <laughs> Two seventy five. Well, it's like nigga. <laughs> I mean, that's, nigga, that's bread. I'm not paying over three hundred though. I, I, I'll, I'll say three. I'll say three. So your favorite act? Favorite. Yeah. Okay. Wait. 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 So then, so then you don't go to concerts then? You don't go to concerts for real? Have you seen me go to concerts? No. Right. right I'm. I'm just asking. I don't go to like, concerts. No, what, what I'm not asking is a statement. You yeah, don't go to concerts. I don't go to concerts. Wow. Yeah. Last concert I went to was was, was Kanye West when doing the Yeezus. Well, I don't want to say concerts. I say. Festivals, because a concert, unless you, you a fan fan. No, honestly, bro, the price the price is different nowadays, bro. Yeah. The shit is going, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. This could segue perfectly right into Rolling Loud, but the 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 prices for a fucking festival or a concert ticket is nuts. But who would you? Okay, Jay Z, because I know. Absolutely. <laughs> I know. So. And I didn't want to sound like I'm like. <laughs> I, I, I just say I knew it. I didn't even have to guess. I, the way you said. No, because cause you lying, bro. You know, because you 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 in here lying. I'm lying. I know for a fact you will pay five hundred better to have some VIP experience. You see this this you hear the project first studio in studio I mean, personally. No, because you but you lying, bro. You're lying, and I don't like niggas who lie. I'm not paying a thousand though. No, you lying. I'm not paying a thousand. Notice my number keep going up. You exactly, <laughs> bro. Like, you're lying, bro. Like you don't do that to the people. I wouldn't pay a thousand though. You like you're your artist. I would pay a everybody got their favorite. What's your artist? What's your favorite artist? Don't give me that look. You got a favorite. You got a favorite. Hove, hove, cool, bet. Well, say, wait, you said Hove or Cole? He said Hove. Don't, I didn't, don't, I just didn't hear him. don't disrespect. You heard the man. You said Hove or Cole? Ah, you oh, you said Cole. Shit, my Cole. bad. He said Cole. Cole. Cool. Cole got a meet and greet. What is your max? Heard it. So throw a number out. 200. It's 200 too much. With J. Cole, you get to chill with him, hear the new project. The same like nigga say. who did the dollar like in the you dream say, tour. You get to hear the new project. Like you, get the you hear the project first. And he taking the picture for the album cover. You about to be on the album cover. Oh, you ain't sell that now. If I'm <laughs> I mean, nigga, I, I, I mean, you you said, know, I'll pay a dollar. I'll give it that. Like, <laughs> with this face. <laughs> but nah, listen, if, if your favorite artist is doing some wild shit, you coughing that bread up. I'm sorry. I just think it's tougher because, like I said, we're in entertainment. So it's not smoke and mirrors. And, you know. Um, no, it's that, all smoke and mirrors. No, I mean, I'm saying it is smoke and mirrors. Yeah. My bad. We know it, though. So I'm saying it's different. Um, if, if, you know, if I was going to pay that type of money to meet somebody, it wouldn't just be for entertainment value. It would be like. You'd be trying to level up. Yeah. Get a like bag out Elon of it. Elon Musk, uh, you know, somebody that's, you know, like really. Bro, but Elon Musk is charging way more than $1,000. That's what I'm, I'm just saying if, if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna meet somebody that can actually bring some change. But like, it's a thousand dollars. Like it's a thousand. We're not talking millions here. 
If you had a thousand dollars, would you for your favorite artist? If I'm on the cover, then yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Let's leave it there. If I'm not on the cover, nah. Listen, I'm not paying a thousand. Jay Z, you. Jay Z, I, I, I would, I would spend a stack. You spend a stack. You spend. Two? I was. I, no, fuck no. But see what I'm saying? No. I like your brand. No, no, like, no, no. But if you're on the album cover. Fuck no. What? You nah, must be? I two. said a thousand too for being on the album. Yeah, now why now I get residuals. I'm not getting money off the album yeah. cover. I'm just there. But <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Cause if the album is classic, uh, I'll good. be in every screenshot for the history. I, I might imagine if you were standing in the back of the blueprint cover. Nigga. It's him sitting down smoking a cigar. You and it's just like <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I might pay two stacks for that. That's I'm hilarious. Like, I'll pay two stacks I'm for that. Like, <laughs> I would definitely pay two take stacks a check, for that. Like, uh, Rick, Fuck wait, it. I'm gonna be on this cover. <laughs> and I heard the album, like I know what's about to happen. Nah. Now, if Kanye wanted me to do that and the album was Jesus. Oh no, I'm not doing that for Jesus. I'm not doing no, that. No, nigga. The fuck? No. Which tells me back to my story. The last concert I went to was Kanye when he was doing Jesus. Mm. And what made it suck for me, I took my girlfriend at the time. She was excited. Oh my God, Kanye. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Loved it. You over here like, fuck that Chicago nigga. I was, no, no, no. <laughs> what happened was the seats we got was so goddamn bad <laughs> that nigga, because I know the smoke and mirrors. But you paid for the seats? I, I got them late. You know, last minute. They only had oh, a dumb shit you. left. You know what I'm saying? You. It was a birthday. You know, it was like birthday so, gift. So you picked the fuckery. Yeah, Got bro. it. We was so bad. She didn't give a fuck. She was just there. It don't matter. Cause she's, she's, she's enamored. She's by the show. Yeah. But nigga, I'm seeing the niggas in the back like. <laughs> <laughs> niggas is working. Yeah. <laughs> you see the fucking, the, the, con, the project <laughs> nigga, coordinator I, like, yo. I'm seeing the, ship, the, the, the stage shift because Kanye was standing on a fucking glacier, which was amazing. But I'm literally watching the dudes at the bottom like. <laughs> Fucking Kanye, you know what I'm saying? They getting Climbing 18 up. an hour. Them niggas is pissed. <laughs> 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 Them niggas is pissed. The lights switched. I saw Kanye float up to heaven. I watched the niggas tie him to it. Like, I was like, God damn it. Like, cause, cause the so you, was so bad. So you saw the, the magic trick. You saw it behind the scenes of the I magic so trick. so ruined. Like, nah, they that's, had these people real. come out dressed like tigers. And what happened is if you're on stage, <laughs> you just see tiger people. But I you saw, saw them niggas getting, getting set dressed. Up in the back. <laughs> they was getting dressed. I saw nigga, I saw them get climbing into the thing that they're gonna climb out of. So yeah, I'd have been so tired. you know you just standing there like a tiger person, <laughs> waiting on your turn. That nigga's six four. Yeah. He went to Wake Forest. Like that nigga upset. He, <laughs> he is in a tiger suit. Yeah, like fucking Kanye got me. That's like a fucking tiger nigga. Hot as hell. That nigga <laughs> hot as shit. <laughs> fucking tiger like, God damn it. And so my girl, like, oh, my God, they got tiger people. I'm like, yo, what the fuck, yo. Wait, okay, so okay, okay, you know what? So it just ruined concerts for I, me, I, man. I, I, mm, I, want, I want to spin that. Okay. I want to spin that. How fucked up is your brain that someone who had the same vantage point as you yeah. felt so connected and was enamored with the music, right. but you were so jaded to the fact you couldn't even enjoy it? I was like, well, and they're at the same vantage point right, as you. right. Yeah. That's some juxtaposition for your ass. Yeah, I tell you, and that's why it, 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 that's why I said I'm just I'm a different guy. Like I, but does different mean good? Because you had a fucked up situation, I, and she had crazy? a beautiful you know night. What's crazy? I, I don't. And y'all both saw the tiger niggas. I don't think it's good. Like, y'all both. I saw don't think it's good. And, and if we want to talk about that, we can. We can. We can have a, a come to Jesus moment. Uh oh. Um, oh shit. No, no, no. But um, it's the same reason why I don't enjoy horror movies. You know, like it's I like, hate horror movies. It's certain things I don't like. It's like only because I'm pussy, though. I'm well, I don't like horror movies. I don't I'm like pussy. those. I just don't like the fact that you want me to be scared, and I know that. And I no, I hate niggas like you. Hey, no, like, I don't I, go to haunted houses. No, I I hate niggas like now, you. Because if I'm in the haunted house, I'm like. No, because you the nigga that know that this shit is funny, but you won't laugh because you try to make me laugh. I, why niggas like you? Yo, yo, you the niggas who gang bang on bacon. <laughs> You just <laughs> mad. My bad, I just got the reference. No, bro. I, I hate niggas like you, bro. Bacon, 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 bacon. So because it's a haunted house and they're supposed to scare you, you just gonna walk through like, you ain't scaring me. I hate niggas like you. Why you? Bro, yeah. what? What happened was. Bro, I never knew this about you. <laughs> yeah, I, so, I, I'm kind of like your op now. I don't like you. <laughs> I don't like this what thing. What happens is once I understand, like, because we do the art itself, sometimes I can't enjoy it because I see the work. And I wish I didn't. Like, so it's only certain things. Like, that's why, like, I still like to go to the movies. Because when I go to a movie, I can just say, okay. But you know it's a movie, and you know it's niggas acting. 
What? It's the but same you can concept. Get lost in the movie because a big ass screen and you know, like you can get lost in the movie. But because a horror movie is meant to scare, you can't get lost in the movie. Get you get stuck on the fact that you're trying to scare me. Kinda. Is that weird? Yeah. Nigga, yes. Oh, well, I... Bro, you just said you could watch a regular movie. You could, so you can oh, get lost, yeah. but but you can get lost in any other movie. But a horror movie, you'll say, nah. I see what y'all trying to do. So a rom com that's meant to make you laugh and feel good, and but they they do that for a reason. So horror that does it for a reason you don't fuck with, but yeah, it's weird. You're confusing the fuck out of me. Yeah, it's confusing me, and I just went and saw. (laughs) Nope, I told you we should have seen it. I went and saw it. How was it? Um, I I I didn't see it, so I'm sorry I don't got a a a valuable opinion on it. But how was it? It wasn't his greatest work. Like, I mean, he got it, it. It was number one in box office. No, no, it, it was, his it, third it, number it was, one in a row. <coughs> Do we care about stats like that? No, I don't. All right, cool. I don't. I don't want to take yeah, away from your point. My bad. I like his mind. You know what I'm saying? His creative mind is wild, bro. Like okay. that's what made it really cool. Just to see, everyone is enamored since you use that word. Everyone is enamored with Jordan Peele's mind because it's always something that's like get the. F- Nah, yeah, bro. His, his 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 plot twist should be in the Hall of Fame. No, and and this is another one of those. When you find out what it is for real, so like, the plot twist is a one. It's just a, the, the, what grain of weed? You know, you be like, what strain? Like, how the fuck you got there? How did you come up with that? Like, mm-hmm. we all know it's a movie about aliens or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah we saw the but trailer. I'm not gonna spoil nothing, but, but to no, see how see he did it, it's like, oh, you're like okay, <laughs> that, that, that was different. It, it was it was different. To me, it just wasn't the best, and they they they're in order. Get Out is obviously his best movie, but he by said far. That though. But he said B- that. by far. He was like, "That was my first work. I wrote this movie ten years ago. Like it's nope. something, B- bro. It's like your first album." But Ice Cube said the same shit. Yeah. He said like he was he was cultivating fucking Friday for so long. <laughs> it, it makes sense why it's yeah. So then they're like, "All right, do it again." You're like, "Okay, I'll do it again." And it trips us out. And but it, the third time, but, okay, sure. Yeah. So it dwindles down. It dwindles at some point, but it's still super fucking creative. Like I I was. I was just kind of baffled, honestly, at what he did with it. It was cool, and it was. No, nah, you making me want to see it more. And it's cool Pause. because it shows a different life. It's, it's in it's in Southern California, but not the 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 city parts. It's a rural. They're they're they're, they're cowboy rank. It's black cowboy wranglers. Got like, you. What you know what I'm saying? Like it, that don't even sound. That's right. like the niggas in Philly. I keep saying niggas. I gotta I gotta chill out. It's the nigga show. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta relax. <laughs> <laughs> The, um, the it was it's a group of black um cowboys that was still in Philly. Mm. I saw it. I saw this um the the show on Netflix. It yeah, was, it was, I was just about to say it was um yeah yeah. It's um, just Elba. Yeah, yeah yeah okay. Yeah but yeah but it just just to see that world is I, uh, man I just love this creative shit dog. Um, but yeah um great it, it was a really good movie, kind of confusing but his movies are always kind of confusing. Would you see it again? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> anyway. I just don't need to see it again. Bro, we had a segue. Uh, we was talking about. But I definitely saw Get Out like three times in the movie theater. N- bro, but at that time you was a thought and you had three different dates, I remember. Because you said that on when we was with Josh, yeah. So he, he took three different women to see Get Out. And if you one of the women watching right now, just know that there's two more of y'all. Like, so you plus two. Yo. <laughs> that nigga didn't care about none of y'all. I'm looking at both cameras. You feel me? Like, listen. You want to know the hardest thing to do? Is to have the same conversation. Three different three times? Three times about nah. a movie that prolific. And I know what's going to happen. Yeah. Like, no, to be honest, no, but that's the hardest part. Knowing that some shit is about to happen and you still act like you never I'm saw like, it before. What? That, that, what you mean? No, but that's not convincing. You did a better job than oh, yeah, that. Was, yeah. You probably was like, <gasps> yeah. yeah. And you oh know, cause, cause you almost want to be like, here, come right here, you know, but you can't, cause you. Don't. Not for nothing, I hate niggas like that. I said the nigga word again. And and driving home, I had to have the same conversation. Damn. Driving home, like, man, that's crazy. How did you spice it started. up? Like, did you, did you get better with it? Like, did you add new words to it? <laughs> Bro, you had the same conversation three times. I, I, but the movie, Verbatim. Just about, cause everyone felt the same way. You know? Once again, ladies, if y'all are watching, I'm sorry, you're not special. He did it three times. But by the third time, I, consciously, I, I was like, we got to see something else. I, just, I can't. You in the middle, like, God damn it. Okay, he's about to walk into the wall. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, 
though. That's crazy. They was like, did you see the way the man ran and hit the turn? By the He's third like, yo, time I, saw, that, I saw bro. it three times. He was like, yeah. No, but to speak for a fourth, where he ran and hit that turn, it was crazy. That, that was crazy. That was nuts. <laughs> I got scared. I was like, ah! <laughs> nah, that movie had some really <laughs> good jump scares. I dropped my phone so quick. <laughs> 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 But like I said, I can't watch scary movies. I'm the wrong one. Don't take me to scary movie. Nope. Mm-mm. I'm the one who who who's, who's waking everybody up in the house at like two o'clock. Like, hey, y'all good? That's funny. Is we straight? I don't do scary movies. That's funny. Mm-mm. They got another Halloween coming out. I'm good. It's it's called. Damn. Your phone. What's it See, called? You said you get scared. <laughs> he dropped your phone. Yo, he got to say Halloween. He dropped his phone. Yo, you the worst, bro. <laughs> I see why you don't do horror. That's movies. funny. <laughs> You'll be the nigga. Halloween. I drop my shit. <laughs> It's like, bro, put the key. Yo. It's the same key. It's the same, key. It's the same <laughs> door. That's hilarious. <laughs> you just fidgeting. Nah. Mm-mm. You want to talk about movies real quick? Let's do it. You just said something. What? About a movie. Halloween. Yeah. Are you not sick of it? I'm t- oh, nigga. Oh, cool. I, just, I, I thought it was me. Bro, but the, you know, because you know, I, I got there early enough to see the preview, so I got mm. to see all the next movies that's coming. Mm. It's mad killer white people movies, by the way. Like, I'm just so tired of white folks killing each other on screen. This no, but, but white people kill. I, listen, we, let's, let's not deviate. Let's stay But here. they they say we the super predators. Okay. Let's, let's, let's keep it here. My bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, But, yeah, it, it even said, for 40 years, <laughs> these two, it's because it's still Jamie Lee Curtis, bro. <laughs> it's fucking, it's. My nigga, like, it's Michael Myers and James Full again. Like, it was like. Man. 40 years. Yeah, but that's what it said. And mm-hmm. it was like, uh, it, I think it's, it's really called Halloween Ends or something like that. Like, yeah, like, some some shit like that. It's yeah. like the final, 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 <laughs> final, final. The last. <laughs> the final. <laughs> like, yeah. it's, dog, it's been over for like 20 years for that movie. I'll give you one better. What? That's going to beat your movie that you just said. Halloween? Yes. Another sequel that we don't want. What? Fast 10. Oh, my God. Yo. <laughs> Fast and the Furious is having the 10th edition, my nigga. The, the 10th. Oh, God. If you didn't know, I think that beats Halloween. It's definitely more Halloween. Thank you. Thank but, you. That beats Halloween, bro. But. Fast 10. I'm so tired. Fast, Fast 10. Movie, bro. bro, didn't they go to space in the last one? Like, yo, like, what else can you do? <laughs> moving. What makes it funny to me is I remember the last one I saw, and as I was watching it, I was like in the movie theater. I was like, "What the fuck is going on here?" Like I was just like, "What? What are we watching? Like, why, why are we doing this?" Like, bro, it was just shit blowing up and cars flying, I, and bro, planes, and I was like, "What?" I don't heck? know what else can be done in the air, bro. I don't know what else can be done on land, bro. They've done everything that you can do. Sorry, nah, uh uh-uh. uh. We gotta let this franchise go, everybody. No, <laughs> we gotta let this shit go, man. I would low key just like to see a racing movie. <laughs> like, don't even race no more, even, bro. They, they stop racing. Them niggas turn to your Avengers. <laughs> they are the Avengers. They're better. <laughs> the Avengers don't do the, the shit. Listen, the Avengers cannot do. Nah, what bro. Vin fast Diesel can do. Fast ten, nigga. And it's all, all right. about family, bro. Fast ten. <laughs> fast ten is coming. So. Go back to the theater for the tenth time to see some shit. I'm Listen, not, I'm not. You've been over Fast and Furious movies. Right, mm. And there's a couple. There's a couple more. What? Uh, fucking uh, blah, 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 blah. Black Panther two. Did you see the preview? Yes, I did. What you think? Oh my. You want? To, are you ready? You know it's gonna be a, a cultural phenomenon. No, uh, one they try to make me cry. They really made they made it somber and sad, and I know for a fact that we're gonna be crying in the theater because we lost Chadwick, which we get, yeah, we, in real life. Like, yeah. like this is not no character. Real life, we lost Chadwick Boseman, right? And we know what he was to the franchise, so you know they're gonna do some. They gonna do some shit. You know it. They got to. Let's get into this real quick, because my man's is part of this this discussion. Shout out to E Man, E Man Reviews. I was trying to get him on the show. Okay. Months ago, told you my man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, mm-hmm. and now he's huge. Mm-hmm. He's huge. He, he, we, we got to get him on. Yeah. Um, I do want to talk about this real quick. Let's get real corny for a second. Not corny, but let's let's go let's go techie and 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 and, and, and comic booky. Off brand, quote unquote. Um, so 
the big debate now is recasting for T'Challa. You don't recast. And that's what happened. So here's what happened. They were going to literally... Well, the fight was... Because Chadwick Boseman was so good at Black Panther. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't recast T'Challa. No. Right? But what happens is T'Challa is a character, fam. Yeah, I get it. You know what I mean? So like, they have to continue the character. Yeah, if if fam from the first Spider-Man died, we're not going to not have Peter Parker. Oh, no, we had a better one. But Tom people, Holland. But who, you know, if Tom Holland dies, are we... No, we no don't, we're not doing that. That's the greatest saying, Spider-Man we, we've ever had. So far, I think so, yeah. But do we stop... Ca- do, I mean, do yes, we stop making Spider-Man, Spider-Man dead. movies? Yes, Spider-Man is dead. Mm-hmm. Bro, they resurrect the Batman every fucking year. Like, I'm so tired of goddamn Batman. Yeah, I'm tired of Batman. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're right. So, and that was, so it became such a thing because people were like, well, you can't recast T'Challa. He's it's Chadwick. But it's like, but bro, he's still a character. And I understand he played the hell out of the character. Bro, you get T'Challa cousin. Re- re- rewrite some shit. Right. Writers, because where there, we at? Because there's a ton of Black Panthers, technically. You know what I'm saying? Like, Black he's not the only one. He's, gotcha. just, the, he's just the main, you know, at the, the time. The multiverse yeah, of, yeah, yeah, of like, Black Panthers. So so that, so that, it literally was an outcry. Like, yeah. And, and once again, I'm going to just shout out E-Man one more time because, bro, like, when I tell you he's in on it, they be, mm-hmm. going, they be cutting him on the news. Oh, that's what's up. We got E-Man. E-Man, like, yeah, listen. If we're gonna cat like really be going for it, I'm like, look at this dude. I'm, I'm okay, so, proud of him. So, I, I, mm. but, so what do you think? Well, I thought personally that the little sister was gonna become the next Black Panther, which is what literally happened in the comic book. Which why it didn't make sense to me to even have this conversation. Cool. So that that's what I thought was gonna happen. Yeah. But when I saw the trailer. At the very, very end, I saw a Black Panther, the, the, the costume, and then the sister was at the bottom, yeah. which means somebody else is Black Panther. Yeah. So I'm interested to see who. Imagine it's fucking Michael B. Jordan and Killmonger come back. Yeah, they, they, they said he might be back. Wow. Uh, yeah. And, and now that we didn't did this. I would not be mad. But now that they didn't did this multiverse thing, it makes sense. But he killed himself, didn't he? Well, he died. He no, sorry. He died after their like epic battle. Yeah, he died. Shit. And but you know we got multiverse now. Got you. So some shit could so, be reversed. And and I don't know if you follow everything and watch all the movies. I'm hit huge. Uh, yeah. Fucking fan, but I'm caught up. The last uh, the Doctor Strange one is the multiverse. Yeah. It's the multiple different people. So mad different. shit. Yeah. yeah. So shit. Killmonger could walk right in in the suit and be like, oh yeah, I'm from multi- Universe Six, whatever. They may. But that's interesting. In the comic book, Shuri the sister becomes Black Panther, and not only that. She ends up t- taking over for Tony Stark, bro. She becomes Iron Man. Word? She's the smartest genius in, like, the whole series. I can she see that. She becomes, like, you know what I'm saying? So, Bro, I don't want to get too nerdy. That's what I, I say. I, I just want to, because I... I don't want to get too nerdy, and, because... And I don't want people debunking me, and... That's wrong, because in episode 16, she's like... Facts, relax, yeah, because they, they'll pull us some shit. <laughs> don't, don't fuck they with the Marvel receipts, people. Bro. Don't pull up... Pull don't fuck with the Marvel people. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I wanted to go, if we're going back to what we do. Okay. Uh, we spoke about Chris Brown and his $1,000 tickets and, and, and whatever the case may and be. The pictures you took with him? Yeah. Prom pictures. Yo, Shorty jumped on top of him. Yeah, I saw like, that. that was weird. And he was holding her cheeks up. Under the booty. Yeah, if you her man, you mad? <laughs> I love the side missions that we go on. Uh-huh. If you her man, are you mad? This is her This is her artist. She is. If it's Chris Brown, though. So you're not mad? I'm not mad. So your girl jump into his arms, legs open. Right, he mad. is thrusting, I'm not mad. and I'm not she mad. is she straddles him. I'm a, I'm a, comf- I'm a comfortable dude. You're yeah. not mad? No, no I, I literally just said all that to see if I can yeah, make you no, mad. No, you can't. Um, <laughs> I'm a comfortable it. guy. Now, if if he slide in the DMs, it's like see. But he slid in her. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what do you mean? You can, hold, you can take a picture with my, with my girl. Like, I don't care about that. I'm legs like, open, wrapped around a nigga. I'm, you cool with that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I mean, because I got fans that do that to me too. <laughs> I don't think I don't think I'm I don't think I'm cool with that. You're not cool with that. You know what? I, I don't know. You know I would be mad at more than anything else is that you took a picture of it. No, but that's part of it. But you only know because of the picture. What I'm saying is, so you mad about the embarrassment? Oh, that's your I'm girl. Mad that, no, forever. This it is, it does you know live I mean? in perpetuity. It's yeah. like fuck, bro. Twenty years from now, if we're married, it's like yo. And it's fighting with me too. That shit, like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> what's up? <laughs> yeah, it's fighting with me for real. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was funny. Stupid. No, he was like, yeah, what's fuck up? You, fuck you, want to do? What's up? Like, what's up? <laughs> no, but 
Um, I'll just be mad because it lives on. If you, if I was there with you and you saw Chris Brown and said, oh my God, I jumped into his arms. You a like, prideful ass nigga. But I wouldn't want to see it 20 years later. I you. still be, that would make me mad. I'd be like, remember you jumped? Yeah. Remember 20 years ago? No, but when so why, so why would arms? you, why would you eventually be mad and not be mad in the moment? Because People I, like you were dangerous. Whoa, why, what is all of this I, I, dangerous I, I, toxic no, energy I, you're no, giving? I'll tell you, I'll tell you why, I'll tell you why. Get it off of me like I, a mosquito. I, I, but I'll tell you why I say it. Okay. The way you just described how you would react to the situation You'll be passive aggressive in the beginning and then blow up at the end. That's no, nuts to me. I just would be mad because it's because you kept important. seeing it. Yeah. But no, but what? Like, listen, like to, tape. Li- tape. listen to the timeline. I did this in 2022. Right. You're okay with it. In 2042, you're now killing me for it. To me, that's an issue. I mean, I, I honestly would be mad. Well, well, does that mean I don't like it on the low? No, that that just means. Like, did you, I just learn something about No, myself? but yes, yes. That's what I'm trying to say. You, you, harbor, you harbor feelings. <laughs> the more time that passes from a situation, the more angry you'll get about it. <laughs> that's what you just said. <laughs> yeah, you're like, fuck. <laughs> no, that's fuck kind of. Fuck you, Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> now you committing crimes of passion. It's like, God damn. Running up in churches and shit. Like, you was man. just cool. <laughs> damn, I, I, I never knew that about you, bro. That's, that's new news. That's crazy. No, uh, so maybe I don't like it. I don't know. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. You can't be passive aggressive about your dislike. All right, so we went on the side tangent. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that was the side it. mission. Okay. I wanted to talk about concerts. It was an artist concert going okay. into the one of the biggest concerts or festivals that just happened recently. Yeah. Rolling Loud Rolling yeah, is yeah. back in town. Sure. Um, so much has fucking happened. So much has happened, and just concerts and festivals. Period are yeah. getting fucking. Crazy, out of hand. Like, they've been out of hand, but now they're getting, like, visibly yeah. out of hand to everybody. Yeah. Um, I wanted to talk about the elephant in the room first with Rolling Loud. Um, Kanye dropped out yeah. of his set. I remember. Um, Cuddy took the, the place of Kanye. I'm glad you went that route, because I was hoping that the guy, yeah. They then threw bottles at Cuddy. Yeah. Expeditiously. Yeah. And extenuously. Yeah. Like, a long-ass period of time... Shit was just being thrown on stage. Yeah. Cuddy then says, hey, if y'all throw another motherfucking thing on stage, I'm out. As soon as he said that, another another bottle Talk came. Like, it. bow, hold on. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like, straight disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was throwing so they, well. Bro, they had Drew Brees in the fucking <laughs> nigga. Drew Brees was out there, nigga. It's like, why was this such a good like, throw? Accuracy on 10. They had Peyton, <laughs> it wasn't like this. It was like, bow. Like, Peyton like, Manning was in the <laughs> comment yo, section, nigga. Who's like, this shit? Bro. <laughs> no, do that really shit. I, I knew it was going to happen. Bro. Just because I knew the video would have no, been posted. But it, it hit happen, him. But it hit him so good. <laughs> I was like, damn. Yo. Such a good throw. I, honestly, I probably would have threw I would have been happy. <laughs> so I kind of been like, well, you know what? Cars are over. But bro. I talked the shit out of him, dog. Kid Cuddy dropped the mic and proceeded to and just storm off, off yeah, stage. Yeah, he off. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about it because this all happened well, well, because of Kanye. Arm strength. No, oh, it happened because of Kanye. They beefing. They visibly don't like each other. They, they, yeah. everybody know that. Yeah. Kanye, who to me has a bigger fan base. Than Kid Cuddy, of course. Yeah. Says, yo, I'm out of that. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm out. Kanye is arguably the biggest rapper in the world. Yeah. Arguably. Yeah, I get it to you. Mm-hmm. Um, but he says, you know what? I'm out. I ain't doing it. Last minute. Y'all figure it out. I'm yay. And, Fuck y'all. And first it was The weekend. I want to say. Um, no, The weekend took over for, for him for, at Coachella. That's what it was. Okay. That was Coachella, right. yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm, uh, I'll be trying to be tapped in a little bit. Mm. But um, no, kid, I mean, but to me, Cuddy matches Rolling Loud. More than Kanye, I just get that Kanye is a bigger celebrity. Yeah. Um, I, I, at that point, it's just brands. Whose brand is yeah, bigger? Yeah. Um, Yay, bigger. But Cuddy don't deserve. It. Oh, bro, come on, man. Nobody deserves to get things thrown at I, on the stage. Honestly, I, I wanted to go there. Okay. I, I wanted to speak about the obvious yeah. first and foremost, and yeah. then eventually get there. Um, how do you feel about the state of concerts and shows and festivals now? Like. Niggas is run up, running up on a stage and doing whatever they want to do at an alarming rate. It's like the artist is not really protected up there while doing what they're, you know, what they love. 
But oh, then at the same time, if they retaliate, we look at them like, why the fuck did you do that? Right. It's just a fan. And I also saw uh, it was another video of somebody pushing somebody off the stage. Or clock Playboy Cardi. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, 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 well, Roddy Rich kicked somebody. Kicked somebody. Playboy Cardi, his 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 security, security pushed him right yeah. off the stage. Yeah, that was cool. But but he's also hugging fans and he, like he's doing a bunch of shit on stage as well, like yeah. to show solidarity with the fans. But what if you're a performer and you're paid to perform and you can't finish your show, like you can't I mean, do your job correctly? This changed, I hate to say this, but literally the Will Smith smack. Fuck you. <clears throat> Where's my microphone? Where's my microphone? So the Will Smith smack. Fuck this guy. Opened up the world to, oh, I can walk on stage? So the conversation recently with comedians. With That's been happening before Will Smith, bro. Mm-mm. But what yes, happened it was. is. No, bro. When, Not at this rate, but it was something happening. something happens at the highest level, we talking... The, the, that's the, it's the Oscars. That's the highest yeah. level of culture. It's the Oscars. American culture, even black culture. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That is the highest level. You don't get no... Only, only other... Obama could have smacked Michael Jordan. Like, you don't get no higher than, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, Chris Rock and Rich and, and, and fucking Will Smith at the Oscars. So when it's done at the highest level, you know all the little bootleg shit going to be done on the lower level. So I kind of feel like it opened it up. And then once fam ran on the stage for Dave Chappelle, um, it's like people are really starting to, and, and that's why like, that's why I'm mad that it happened. Because mm-hmm. I've heard this conversation. Um, I was watching Bill Bellamy and Tony Rock. Mm-hmm. And, and they were talking about, they hated that it happens on that level too, because mm-hmm. now it makes it okay. And it's like, it's not okay. Obviously, we know it's not okay. Mm. But fam, like, he was like, just to see it at that level. People like, oh, I can do that? You mean I could throw shit? It can't like, oh, it's possible? Can? Yeah, we had no, it had never happened before. I, I can't disagree more. Yeah. And that's why I love you. Mm-hmm. That's why Aww. I love this show. He loves me. I mean, yeah, you my, you my man, honey grand. But you, you wrong as shit right now. Talk to me. And it's okay. Um, disgust. From the crowd has been showed for years. Yes. At a lot of different platforms and shows and festivals and yeah. concerts. Even the, kind of the Nigga, concept of throwing bo- tomatoes. Bo- exactly. This is something that's been happening. So what we're not going to do. Why are you in a concert with tomatoes, by the way? Just one. I mean, shit. <laughs> Yo, they, throw toma- they threw tomatoes at Coy Ray in like 2020. Like, this is recent times. They needed to. No, but a tomato, once again, how did you get in? <laughs> Where's security? Like, bro, you walked through a metal detector. Bro, but you bought tomatoes to take to a concert to throw. Like, that's hilarious. That's nuts to me. That's hilarious. But that disgust for an act is present and has been present for so many years. Mm-hmm. I don't. I, I think it's unfair for you to pin that on Will Smith, bro. Like, he had an issue with somebody doing something at that point in time. And to be honest with you, we already proved it. Yeah. It was more than once. Yeah. So you have an issue with my wife and you're doing it again. And I, bro, what's up? Right. So it, it, when there's smoke, there's fire. What I'm saying is I can't attribute that to what we're talking about now. I think right. that's different. And it's unfair to Will Smith and his legacy for you to say, well, you pulled up on the biggest stage for black people. So now we're going to pull up whenever, nigga, because you opened the door. That's unfair because the door is already opened. The door been open. It's been there, but no one ever breached it at the highest Bro, level. Bro, the gesture, the highest level, niggas used to get killed for bad performances. No, but that's old. I'm no, no, no. But what I'm saying is, it's there, and we know about it. You're talking about the highest level, nigga. The highest level is your life. <laughs> like, yeah, if you tell a bad joke, you die. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's, there's no that's higher level. Eighteen hundred. Yeah, that's old, old shit. No, but you don't, you don't die now, nigga. We just boo. <laughs> like, but what like, I'm saying is, it's, it's, it's a derivative. But imagine it's, booing but, and then getting so upset no, that but, you run up on stage but and it's, fuck the comic But up. it's just a derivative. Derivative. Yeah, that's right. It, like, right. It's, it's, it literally. <laughs> come on. Stupid. But literally, it's, it's the same shit. It's confidence, baby. It's level one and level 15. But level yeah. 15 happened because level one is just a trickle down effect. So what you're saying, what I'm saying is don't blame level seven. <laughs> For some shit that's been happening yes, since right, level yeah, one. No, I get you, I get you. Because now we at level 15 talking about level seven. It's like, no, these niggas have been doing this. All I'm going to say is... If talent is bad, we going to address that shit. There's a reason why you can't get close to Michael Jackson. There's a reason why 
Well, no, we know the reason. He's no longer here. Nobody can get close to him. <laughs> yes, we cannot get close to him. You're right. All right, that was good. I'm just, you, that was good. You're talking about some nonsense, nigga. Yes, <laughs> okay, we cannot okay. get close to him. All right, all right. You're right. You got it. You got it. You got, it. You got that one. That was you good. spoke in present tense <laughs> like he was here. <laughs> like, like, next week, Michael Jackson on Willow Wednesdays, you heard? Like, it's lit. What was the drug? We kept singing it. Uh, 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 Demerol. <laughs> Demerol. Demerol. <laughs> Demerol. Demerol. Right, so. Which is a weird ass song, by the way. <laughs> anyway, so it was the reason why you couldn't get close to Michael Jackson. There you go. Um, it's the reason why you can't get close to Janet Jackson, you know. And then, you know, they set it up for that reason so you couldn't hurt the artist. Mm-hmm. So I do think we need to set up some things, you know, where you can't get close to the artist. And, and it's unfortunate because it shouldn't have to be like that. Now, there's nothing cooler than being close to an artist. Nothing is cooler than that. I'm not saying Will Smith and Chris Rock are as big as Michael Jackson, but we only have one Michael Jackson, we only have one Will Smith, and we only have one Chris Rock. So, I Will feel Smith like... Will Smith is definitely big as Michael Jackson. You think so? Yes. Okay. I mean, Will I would, Smith is, at one point, I don't know if it declined. No, but brother, Fresh Prince is the Fresh Prince. No, but, but at one I, point, he was the highest paid actor I, I, in... But, the world. I'm not talking about highest paid because no, the rock. But I'm just mean as far as appeal. So cool. So so the rock is the highest. Now, yeah, yeah. Oh, so yeah. the rock is Michael Jackson. What I'm trying to oh, say. Acting, yeah. N- no, I'm, I'm bro. Sorry. I said as big as. So whatever your legend includes, mm. the rock is not as big as Michael Jackson because he's the number one actor right now. Like stop it, <laughs> stop it. The rock is not Michael Jackson, bro. You about to you about to get me upset. What the fuck are you talking about right now? The rock. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is as big as Michael Jackson? That's a good question. I, we got to ask the people. Am I tripping? This would make a good TikTok. No, I, I might be drunk talk, right now. I might, I might be drunk. No. I, am I drunk? I, well, ask the question again. No, because I'm talking to the Michael Jackson fan of all Michael Jacksons. You argued that Chris Brown does not have more talents than Michael Jackson, but right here, right now, you're saying that The Rock is equal to Michael Jackson? I think I mean in his craft. No, this is the Twilight Zone, bro. I'm in the fucking Twilight Zone. And who's bigger than The Rock in acting? Right now. In 2022. Right now, who's bigger than The Rock? It's big cool. ass bump. You're like right. Mosquito. You're right. Yeah. He got 2022. He's Michael Jackson. What? That's kind of all I was thinking, though. No, no. Just like Will Smith. No. Was Michael Jackson at no. some point? Well, Michael Jackson was number uh, Will Smith was number one for a decade, bro. <laughs> what are we talking about? He actually has a he has a track record to. Oh yeah, yeah, all his movies. Come on, we know that. Yeah, you yeah. said The Rock. But The Rock is huge, fam. I don't. You know what? Mm-mm. Yeah, I, You're not I, gonna I, get me. <laughs> You're not gonna get me. Y'all, hey, y'all, y'all, y'all. We was talking about Rolling Loud. Y'all kill him in the comments. You're not hey, gonna get me. I just I don't know. I, You're not again. gonna get me because you. You argue Michael Jackson before you argue your parents. Like, <laughs> you go crazy for yeah, Michael Jackson. I'm that kid that would still go and be with Michael Jackson, even after allegations. He was Bro, clear, by the way. But The Rock? I love Michael Jackson. That's, that might be my first tattoo. Yo, so, speaking of Rolling Loud, speaking of concerts, speaking of all that shit, my week, I didn't want to say it in the beginning, I'm going to say it now. <clears throat> Got you. I leave work. I go to the liquor store close to my crib. I got to get a bottle for Willow Wednesdays. Gotcha. I mean, that's what we do, right? Sure. Um, the young lady at the register, ever since I moved down here, she's been my register lady. Got you. I've, it's crazy because we moved to the South now and we build relationships with random people yeah. who you wouldn't even, I would never think of at the liquor store yeah. in Brooklyn. Yeah. Like, but. We did I got have Alex though. We did have Alex. No, we did have Alex. You're right. Yeah, we we built the relationship. Shout out to Alex, by the way. Shout out to Alex. Yo, Alex. I got that bag right there from Alex. Facts. Yeah, we we fuck with Alex I'm heavy. Fuck with Alex. Um, what's that? Uh, Crown and Crown and Montgomery. No, sorry. Uh, uh, Rogers. Rogers, Rogers, and Rogers and Crown. Montgomery Crown. Yeah, yeah, Rogers and Crown. Yeah. Uh, but so I have a a, a a liquor lady. Yeah. It was just funny. But I have an individual who, you know, I, 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 I pick my libations. Yeah. She rings me out. So because of where I work, 
I got you know the clothing from where I work. Yeah. So we speak about it. What, what's going on there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to me about this. I got this. Can you help me out with that? That's our conversation. I pull up this week because I'm getting my bottle or whatever. Yeah. And she's like limping. So because I know Shorty for real, I'm like, are you good? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. what's going on? Yeah, yeah. She's like, yeah. I went to Rolling Loud in Miami. <laughs> Instantly, I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that's kind of cool. You cool, so that's kind of dope. Yeah. So she's like, yeah, you know, um, me and my roommates, um, we, 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 yes. we, we, Sheesh. me and my roommates, but she's a, she's a younger lady. Oh, she's, okay. she's younger. Yeah, she's a younger lady. Me and my roommates, we, we fuck with festivals. We like the artists or whatever the case may be. This right. is our demographic. This is our age. We young, wild, and reckless. We outside. Right. So we go to these shows. She's like, there's no way that Rolling Loud was going to Miami. We here in Atlanta. There's no way that I was going to miss it. Yeah. It's close. I can get there. You can get to Florida from Georgia. Yeah, I can, I can get to Florida. So they went. Um, they bought general admission tickets. Mm -hmm. She said this is her first Rolling Loud experience. She said she will never go back to Rolling Loud. Mm. She said she almost died in mosh pits. She said women should not attend at all. She said, um, Playboy Cardi came on and they had a mosh pit. She almost died. She said she remembered the, um, the Kid Cudi bottle throwing. while they were She was there. While they were throwing bottles, they had another mosh pit. She almost died. Now we're talking about a young lady. Right. Mid-20s. Yeah. She's small, like 5'4", maybe. Okay. Yeah. 150, yeah. 140. It's like, Damn. you don't belong in no fucking mosh pit with grown-ass men. She, she was like... There was no regard for personal space or safety. Right. Um, secu COVID. Security was on a two out of ten. Eliminate. Yeah. Swash. She's giving me all of this ammo. Yeah. Just to speak to the state of a festival, and I wouldn't know. I'm not, bro. I'm not going to fucking Rolling Loud. A strong ass nigga. I'm not. I mean, not, you know, I be I be in the gym from time to time. Nah, you be cranking it. Nigga. Stupid, right, Chirk, you know. jerking the chicken. Jerking. <laughs> nah, but I'm not going to Rolling Loud no time soon. Yeah, I'm man. not. That's just not. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'd rather watch the shit on TV or something. They stream everything nowadays. Let me stream it. Yeah, but I'm not going. Um, but she paid her five hundred and fifty dollars. Five hundred and fifty dollars for a three day festival, which is not that bad if you delete. I mean, del not delete, but um, divide. It's not I'm terrible. <laughs> it's not terrible for that but she said security was non-existent That's crazy. she literally felt feared for her life yeah. and because of that she went day one half a day two missed the rest of day two and the rest of day three she didn't feel safe and she's limping like so yeah. obviously she got hurt I want to talk about the state of just shows. Like, the, the culture that we're breeding now is okay. Run up on stage. Jump on. Cr but it's even the artists, too. Uh, the crowd surf. Jump from 40 feet in the air. We'll catch you. Yeah. What if you're the young lady that's just there and you're like, hey. And don't see nigga diving from the heavens. It happens all the time. Remember when Miguel got sued for jumping the thing? No, but he leg dropped shorty. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> he leg dropped shorty. I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> he wilded out. Okay, it kind of killed his career. That, what? Yeah, like, we, where's Miguel? Awesome. But I don't want to deviate from I mean, he would, he would his, um. But let's keep yeah. it here. Let's keep it though. So, um. Leg drop heard see, around the story, world. One more story. Uh, my ex. Um. She was a big fan of Flatbush Zombies. Flatbush mm -hmm, Zombies. Mm -hmm. Same thing happened to her. She went to a concert. And got injured? And came back and was fucked up. Like, literally. And she was like, I will never do that again. She was like, I, I love these dudes and I love what they got going on. You know what I'm saying? But she was like, the mosh is crazy. And she was do, like. Are we the old niggas now? Are we old niggas or are we just responsible? Like, Nah, we just responsible. And I got a different sense of space. Like, I'm, like you mm -hmm. said, you get to push it and shit. I, but you. Let me think. Let me, let me, but let you me, sign let, up for that. Let me speak to let, yeah. Because remember, th these are general admission tickets. We saw what happened at Travis Scott shit. Right. We uh, got arrested dead. Uh, yeah. the, all the funerals and all. We we saw what happened. People were trampled. People lost their lives. This is the atmosphere, and it's only getting worse. I, so I, because it's only getting worse, are you gonna, are you now gonna buy a general admission ticket like? 
Are you going to that show to stand with the hooligans? Me, the no. The ruffians? Me, no. Because that's not what I'm into. And I'm not into it. And you know what's crazy? I'll speak to it from an older perspective. Oh, hell When I was... When I was, Go ahead, when I was 13, 14 years old, I was, I was, uh, it was like, like freshman summer. Yeah, OG. Yeah. I came to Atlanta. Oh, huh. so you hit Freak Nick? I told you, I, I got that last. It's the like ninety five, ninety six. Stupid, ain't no ninety five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like eighty seven. What about eighty seven? <laughs> no, nigga, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> it was like ninety nine. Yeah, into the two thousand. Like something like that. Yeah, I got the picture. Yo, did you see that young picture of me wearing the red with the, the hat? Mm. That was that was my outfit. Not gonna, was, hold, not gonna hold you. That was kind of tough, though. That was that was, that was kind of tough. Going to Atlanta. Why am I wearing that? I mean, cause you want to be blood, nigga. You, your family members it is down. It's a swish suit. The South <laughs> Pole. Swish, <laughs> nigga. I'm going to Atlanta. That was the stupidest shit. Yeah, I you, was like, you, the fuck. Hot Atlanta. You gonna be hot? So anyway, so that that picture is from that summer. Got you. And oh, so you recycled the fit. We all did. Fuck it. You stupid. No, I'm saying that was the no. You know what? That's what I had on the bus. I took a Greyhound here. That's my mind. That's me. That literally yeah, I, was I, a picture yeah. at the Greyhound of me going to go to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Come, come to Atlanta, and I, they had they had kids clubs. Mm-hmm. Here. They, you know, not no Chicago shit. I don't know if they had it in New York. Mm-hmm. Did they have New York? Did y'all have kids clubs? We had kids night. You, you 14, 15. Y'all yeah. So uh, um, uh, Empire Skate Rink, okay, the okay. infamous skate rink. They'll have like a teen night. If, right. you, if you're 13 or higher, you can just, I mean, you can you, you get up in there. So I'm here. My boy, you know, introduced me to Atlanta. I'm like, this is fire. I'm 13, 14. He takes me to a kid's club. Mm. It, and I was like, oh, my God. Wow. I'm in a club. Mm. Bro. The first version of crunk music mm-hmm. was, like, literal. When them motherfuckers played Tear the Club Up. They was fighting. They tore the club up. <laughs> I've never seen no shit like this before. Mm. It was dope, though. <laughs> like, mm. but but I'm younger, so I got the energy. Yeah, naked. They started like okay. It, they started bop, yeah, duh, tear the club. This this shit, right? Yeah. But then they go in, like it was a circle. Mm. Everybody in the club was running in a circle, chairs in hand, pushing pops, niggas. Mm. But it, it, it wasn't fights, but it was fight energy. Yeah, and it's, then it's I saw culture. iteration, and then I saw crunk music and knuck if you buck and yeah. push him up, fuck him, push him up, fuck him, push him. And I was like, wow, I didn't like it then. That's my whole point of the story. Mm. I was saying, I, I actually got out of the crowd because first I was like, oh, this, oh, yo, whoa, relax. The nigga pushed me. I'm like, nigga, wait, wait. I literally stood in the middle, <laughs> and everybody's just circling. Everybody, and I was like, yeah, this is. Uh, that's crazy. Sipping more water, you know, because mm-hmm. I wouldn't drink it. But, and I was like, wow, this is crazy. And then to watch that turn into crunk music, yeah. and watch that turn into Travis Scott and Mosh Pits, and, you know, I, I'm baffled. I mean, but Mosh Pits was around in, in, in rock music. Like, they, they did yeah, rock yeah, music, punk, but black music yeah. didn't do it. We weren't Mosh Pitting, sir. No, no, you're right. Because we was more, eh, I, I, I'm not going to say that. We we, we we were not mosh pitting. We You're right. Mosh-pitting. We were not mosh pitting. Mosh some pitting. real shit. You want to know kind of who started mosh pitting? Who? Meth and Red. For real? Not. I mean, you was there in '93. Shut up. I mean, you not was there. Mosh pitting, but niggas jumping in the crowd and all that crowd surfing shit. Oh, mm. Meth and Red. Yo, they was. Yeah. Maybe they didn't start it. Somebody could, you know, let me know if I'm wrong. Mm. But they was known for that shit. They was known for getting the crowd hype. You know, they they're actually really good performers. But imagine you just standing there. And you just not knowing, and somebody just land on your neck. It happens all the time. Cause you just wow, hold up. It happens all the time. I'm serious. Have you ever seen a concert like that? No, I've I've been to concerts like that, but because because I know where I'm going, I know what I'm looking for. Like football helmet. So I'm I'm not there like oh do do do. Yeah, you like, like yeah, nah. you like when the shit kick off. Uh, yeah, on. like yeah, like yeah. I don't I don't like that energy, so, and, and I don't make that kind of music. Me either, um, but at the same time, you don't know, you don't know what your song would do in the stadium, and I will say that. That's true. You you may not make quote unquote that type yeah, of music. Yeah, like Travis Scott didn't make the motherfuckers mosh pit. Well, no, he did. I'm sorry. Well, no, now he now he does. I don't yeah. think he started that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he started as someone who was trying to just make his yeah, sound yeah, yeah. of music, and then what happens is we we 
resonate with it and we get so excited to it that now we're doing some wild shit to it. Like, I, that's how I think it happens. But you've definitely written like a stadium song. Yeah. You've definitely written something like, this is going to fuck it up. I know it would. That's what happens when you fuck it up. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Man. So, so it's tough to be like, I would, I, I, I'm not doing that. But yeah, yeah we kind of live for that. I mean, and what's funny is if you're in the right space, and you're in the right mindset, it is actually fun. It's, it can be a fun if, thing. It, if you're protecting yourself. Yeah, if you're not. But I do understand what the girl was going through, what my ex was going through. Like, mm. you shouldn't have to fear for your safety. I shouldn't. You shouldn't have to go to a concert and come back and your arm is broke and your hip is fucked up. And, Bro, I'm in the liquor store yeah. buying a bottle and I'm over here apologizing. I'm like, I'm so sorry yeah, that's that... Right. You can't walk properly. And I was like, nah, I, I got to talk about this. This is a first-hand encounter with some shit. On the same night as Kid Cudi. But mind you, we, facts. That's crazy. And she's like, she saw all this. Yeah, that's wild. Um, Kanye, he um, canceled his show or whatever, right. but he showed up on the other stage with, like, the baby or some shit. Oh, like, he did come yeah. back. He showed up on the other stage, which made niggas throw the bottles at Cudi. Oh, that's why they threw the bottles. Cudi and Kanye beefing. So, um, Kanye cancels. Cuddy is now the fill-in for Kanye. These niggas set them up. That's first and foremost. That's the setup. We need to understand what's happening, right? And and we should speak about it because they, they doing shit to us and we just falling in line with it. Kanye is right now his whole MO to me, honestly. I'll, I'll agree to some shit. If y'all piss me off or fuck with me because I'm that big of a brand and a name and I got so much money, I'm canceling that shit. Right. I'm going to cancel it whenever. I would honestly be like that too. Cool. But what's happening is these these program directors and show coordinators, they're so petty, they're going to get people that, excuse me, that's beefing with Kanye to fill his slot. It happened with The Weeknd and Coachella. Right. And now we're talking about Kid Cudi at Rolling Loud. You're now two for two with trying to get the ops to to spite uh, me. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Like y'all are y'all are causing and creating bad experiences for people. Yeah. Because and they're doing it for ratings. But, exactly. Yeah. But Cuddy got bottles thrown at him. And that's not That's not cool, bro. No, no, no. He's just there to perform. Let's say one of them bottles wasn't plastic, it was glass. <laughs> That one that got him good. Just, bro, at the very, he said, he said, if y'all throw another bottle at me, I'm out. That Bow. Was, no, I'm sorry to bring back this joke, but that nigga was like, it's on me now. <laughs> like, bro. Uh, the slow-mo, ha. Ah. But instead of a bow, it's a mink. <laughs> like, <laughs> mink. Like, my bad, I'm sorry. No, that's I know we talked about that bro, already, y'all, my bad. But the I'm fact t- that it was such a good throw, it was like. Nigga, it was, it was on point. It, <laughs> it was, was on like, par. It was, it was <laughs> accurate as fuck. Oh, Nolan Ryan had. Facts. <laughs> like, you. Peyton Manning for real, like okay, ninety nine okay, accuracy. Right you just Shit, it was such a good throw. <laughs> I'm over here smacking the no, but I, yeah, he walked but, off like. <laughs> but what I'm saying is like <laughs> they're they're creating this atmosphere, yeah, and we got to stop because it's gonna escalate. Right. Niggas went from, okay, so let's say Cuddy's now on stage with armed security. And niggas is throwing bottles. Now somebody gets shot. And it's an extreme, but it can happen. Yeah. You do. What if my next show I need security on stage you with gotta, me? You gotta, that's why, but that's why I brought up the Michael Jackson point. And the, Bro, Lady the, Gaga right. Lady Gaga has like a, 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 a force field around her as she performs. You need it. You need it. You Because you see what happens. I remember, um, and we got to move on from this topic. But, um, mm-hmm. but I remember... When Beyonce was performing and she reached into the crowd and a nigga kept grabbing her hand. And it's like, my relax. You going to pull me off you gonna the stage? You going to pull me off the stage? Like you, uh, uh, so now Beyonce fall off the stage. It's you, over. What are we doing? Like, why, why, what the fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> That's crazy. You, you done? I want to get into some funny shit, but that's some real shit, but it's funny. Okay. Talk to me. Bill Burr. Okay. Oh. Come on now. I don't, I don't know this one. Cool. This one I don't know. Bill Burr has um, a comedy show that's on Netflix right now. Um, It's entitled Bill Burr um, Live at 
The Red Rocks. Yeah, and, and I fuck with Bill Burr. Though. Yeah, Bill Burr's funny as shit. He's funny. Um, he was in D- uh, Denver, I believe. Um, Damn, I got a good Bill Burr joke I want to tell you because I wanted to tell you last week, but I t- I- I'll wait. Wait, 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 hold up. What happened? Um, he brought up a topic that was very funny, and everybody's been talking about it since. Okay. But it's real. Should women athletes be paid the same as male athletes? And I'm I'm gonna read what he had said about it, yeah. you know, as a part of his joke. Yeah. But I I wanted to get your your stance on it before I, I read what I read. Oh, you want before I hear his stance? Yeah, I mean, just or, or not. I want me to just read it. Yeah. Cool. I want to hear the information. This is Bill Burr. Look at the WNBA. They have been playing in front of 300 to 400 people a night for a quarter of a century. Not to mention, it's a male subsidized league. We gave you a league, and none of you showed up. Where are all the feminists? Sorry. That place should be packed with feminists. Face painted, wearing jerseys, going fucking nuts like the guys do. None of you want the fucking, none of you watch the fucking games. None of you went to the games. You failed them. Not me, not men. Women mm. failed the WNBA. Ladies, name your top five WNBA player mm. of all time. Name five WNBA teams. Name the WNBA team in your city. You can't do it. I wanted to talk to you about this. I love comedians. Oh, my God. So, and, and just, just to put a spin on it so we can bring it back to what yeah, he has yeah, said. Yeah. God damn, that's good. Bill men, so good. Like, men, we have been blamed for the demise of women a lot. Yeah. Right? Because we don't do something, something happens over there, right. and it, it, it throws the balance off. Oh, man. Do you good. say that for female sports, for women's sports? Oh. Do women's sports actually depend on men? And if so, does that make the, the women's claims lesser than? Does it diminish it? <laughs> Fuck, this is a good topic. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. You impressed me here. You impressed me. I'm, I'm, I'm like that. Sometimes you be all right. I'm like that. I'm like, fuck, this is good. And and I love that it's positioned with my man Bill Burr because he has such a good take on things. I love his, his – fuck, man. All right, that is good. All right. <laughs> I'm laughing. You see my the, – the, the, the laugh. Um, yeah, man. And, and, it's, and it's the weirdest shit ever because it's like – it's kind of like you need us to have a problem with. That's it. It's like we, it's like you 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 need, you need to blame it on us mm-hmm. just to have a problem. It, it, it's man, it, it's gonna sound real sexist, but I don't care. We were we already you know the relationship gurus type shit. Women need to have a problem with men. Mm. Like you need that. Mm. It's very weird. You can know the answer. You can see the answer. You can understand the situation. No matter where you put it, you can know what it is. But something in you is going to make you have a problem. (laughs) You're going to make a problem. You're going to find a problem. You're going to say, well, if you would have just woke up earlier two weeks ago, it's like, what? What? What What are we? Damn. You're going to find a problem. Mm -hmm. This is one of those examples. And that's the genius in comedy. Mm -hmm. Why I fuck with comedy. That's what we do. It's just, it's really just, we're just breaking down things in a palatable way for people to laugh at. But mm. once you laugh, you're like, ha. <laughs> <laughs> But it's real. <laughs> yeah. Because it's real shit. You would think the way that women speak about their sports, what's crazy is how many women is at NBA games. But literally after he said that, I started to do the math. Um. He said 300 to 400 people a night for a quarter century. I, you, belie- I believe that's that. Don't nobody watch the WNBA, bro. So let's do math on 400. Have you ever been to a WNBA game, by the way? Never. I have. I, by the way, they're really good, by the way, when you're no, there. Bro, they're professional they're athletes. Really know, but, it's, but, I was, but I was like, oh, get the fuck. Like, this exists? I was like, these motherfuckers. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you why this. It's really good. I, I'm going to tell you why this topic resonates twice. Um, Drake almost got arrested in Sweden recently. Okay, like, bring this home. like less than. Like, come on now, I'm nice like that, Scratching right? Them skills, fucking with you too. So less than a week ah. ago, <laughs> less than a week ago, Drake is out 
with his people. Yeah. They got some weed on them. Weed is illegal wherever they at. Niggas got to get arrested. Drake was in detained. Sweden? Yeah. Drake was detained. They know weed is legal in Sweden. Drake was detained but not arrested. His security guard took the charge. Gets arrested for Drake. It was reported Drake arrested in Sweden. The GOAT. Mm-hmm. The biggest artist to date. Is, he Michael is now Jackson? arrested. What? Is he Michael Jackson? He might be. Okay. But I'll argue that. You said the fucking rock. The rock. But you know what? You know what? I, 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 don't bring me back there. Cool. <laughs> do not do that because I'm going to curse you out. Don't, don't, don't do that. But Drake not arrested. Yeah. Somebody part of Drake's entourage arrested. Okay. The whole world heard Drake got arrested. Right. Because detained means handcuffs. You, we, we stopped you from doing what you, whatever you wanted to do for a short amount of time. Right. We stopped you. Yeah. So the rest of the world took arrested. If Drake was arrested in Sweden and Britney Griner was arrested in Russia, mm. who do you think gets out first? Drake. Drake, right? Because Drake generates more money, right? Cool. So if we're going to talk about the finances in the WNBA, yeah. I feel like they are at a disadvantage. Because right. Britney Griner, who is a veteran in the WNBA right. and a star of the league, right. One, you shouldn't have to go to another place to generate money for yourself. They work in minimum wage basketball. Bro, they play in minimum wage prof- um, professional sports. They need a second job. They need a summer gig. Yeah, yeah. That's why she was there. Yeah. Only reason why I'm in fucking Russia to is to make money. extra money because the WNBA is not paying me what I need. So let me go over there. I got a couple of my vape pens with me. I'm from New York. You're not, not, not New York. I'm from the United States. It's legal. Okay, so. so I'm now arrested in Russia, but now I got to serve 10 years in jail. If Drake got arrested today for the same weed charge, he'll be out. And that's the joke that Bill Burr was speaking to. But, but, wait, to bring it home, bring it full circle. Yeah. That's not our fault as men. No, it's not a man thing. That's women's fault. Yes. And the reason why it's women's fault is if they took so much stock to be enraged when that happened because this is their sports hero, change would happen. Because Once again, know she is. if LeBron got arrested for some wild shit. Yeah, and I hate that we bring up LeBron all the time. No, but, but think but about it. Sense. Half, half the, world the world is up in arms 100%. because we watch the nigga, we follow the nigga, we, we, we appreciate what he has done. Even if we don't appreciate, we hate the nigga so much, we love the nigga. Yeah. Like it's, it's just like that level of respect. What happens is, on the flip side, that's not there. But the fandom isn't there from the key base, and the base is women. If well, the NBA's base is men, the WNBA base has to be women. Should be women. Should be women. Should but be women. women are not involved. Or they don't care about women's basketball. So because I, of that, I'll, it's failing. I'll, I'll say it. I'll say it. Basketball is not a woman's sport. What's a woman's sport? Because I disagree with that statement. Things that women are interested in. That's not a woman's sport. That's a woman's interest. But a I feel sport like, is athleticism. But no. Track, football, but basketball, I, I, rugby. I feel like I know what I'm saying sounds crazy, but you remember how the other day you said I did a case study? Yeah. We can do a case study on female basketball. There are women that play basketball. I'm not talking about the players. But let me just just write. write Underst- yeah, understood. You're right. The whole NCAA is filled with women, <laughs> Division three, two, and one. And what happens? That play basketball. And what happens to them? They try to get to the NBA. Some of them don't make it. Some of them do. And the, the rest of do, them end up at fucking... Claire's selling earrings. Tall as hell. Yep. <laughs> Would you like me to get this off the top? Yes, Work man, at quick, quick Trip. So You heat the hot dog buns. I'm not saying, I know it sounded, you know, that's the hot take. That's the, but certain things, like, okay, for instance, let me give you one. Football. Mm-hmm. Is that a woman's sport? Unfair, but I see where you're going. No, it's not a woman's sport. To answer your Just question, have to be honest. yes, it's not a woman's Can sport. Can women play? Yeah, got you. Do you. But basketball is different. Okay, I agree. So cool. So I, with basketball, that's what I'm saying. I, I get what you. I, I I'm disagree with. Like, I, I I disagree with your tactics because yes, you're right. Yeah. 
But but I'm trying to like make it into a thing with like that you that you know what I'm saying. No, no, bro, I, I got because it from I, when I said it. I but, get, I yeah, get it, but I get it. What but, I'm but saying what is, I'm, saying. I, I'm not saying that women can't play, and for all the feminists that's gonna be mad at me, good. Be no, be mad at the government for not getting our girl back. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That was the point. That's the point. It's like. I, and that's why I say women aren't interested in women's basketball. So because women aren't interested in women's basketball, they're more interested in men's basketball. I kind of got to say it. I don't think that's a women's sport. That's what I'm saying. It's, hmm. it's, it's like a basic case study. 25 years. No, I get it. 25 years of WNBA. We watch them fail. That's and, it. And continue that's a to long fail. time. So now, do I know what can fix the WNBA? No, no, not no. But I, I'm an sure idea. I, I know. I have an idea. Get some transgender athletes up in there. <laughs> they dunking 360 windmilling. Nah, it is girls they, that can dunk. They though. score no. Yes, yeah, six of them. Can dunk, six of them. The league got 300 players. Six of them can dunk. Here's what they need. One to do. of them is in Russia right now, here's locked what, up. Here's what, here's what they need to do. Yo, first thing they need to do is lower the rim. No. But let me finish. That's fucking with the sport. But go let ahead. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Now you're talking about changing the sport. Yeah, and I just think the, the ball already smaller, nigga. Like, what the fuck? But the rim is, 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 is where it's at. The ball is smaller because their hands are smaller. But they also don't jump as high. They can practice. <laughs> Stop. Because you know that's bullshit. <laughs> you can't duck, nigga. No, not watch even. your watch your mouth, what nigga. Can I? So we're all trying to say facts. <laughs> what you talking about? Like, we're too non. Try to put it on me, nigga. We're too non-dunk. When last time you dunk? <laughs> <laughs> I get really close. I can touch the rim though. Fuck out, nigga. Nah, I can touch the rim, nigga. I can't dunk. Like, no I've never dunked the ball successfully. I actually, I, I fucked up and it bounced and went in one time. <laughs> you know, how you hit it. I was like, ah, and it was like, ah, went in. I dunked, nigga. Yo, so I dunked one time. In my life, it just it it just it went in, it bounced up and went in. Yeah. She went off the ricochet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's I, funny. I hit it, I popped it, yeah, yeah, but it went in. And I was like, "Fuck that!" I'm, I'm claiming that I dunked that's, once. I mean, fuck it. I, <laughs> I respect it. I dunked, it. Nigga, it went in. Fuck that. I respect it. I did the motion, the ball went in. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I respect it. But all I'm saying, so but, but other than that, other than that, I think they should lower the rim. That's just personal opinion. If you disagree, you disagree. Mm. The other thing is, um, you, uh, you. you you watch Winning Time, the the, the L.A. The, the yeah, the Lakers. Um, the shit was on uh, HBO Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, David Bus. Yeah. What was his name? Joey Bus. David Bus. David, David Bus. David Bus. Am I tripping? I think it's David Bus. Jeannie was the daughter. Jeannie was the daughter. Jeannie and David. Yeah. David, right. Was it David? It was, was it David? David. I'm like, it was David. It was David. <laughs> was it David? <laughs> Johnny? No, it ain't no Johnny Bus. It was, it was shit, Doctor Bus. Doctor Bus. Let's just go there. Doctor Bus. <laughs> Doctor Bus. <laughs> Doctor Bus. Go ahead. <laughs> Fuck that nigga first name. Dr. Bus. Jerry G- Bus. Jerry. No, it was Jerry West. Jer- Fuck, Jerry right, West. So we drink it. We drink it, y'all. So. Ghetto <laughs> news. <laughs> Edit this out. I know it was Jeannie was I, the daughter. Jeannie was the daughter. Fuck that. Dr. Dr. Bus. Bro, I'm a Knicks fan. Fuck the Lakers, bro. Dr. What the fuck you talking about? Dr. So Bus. What happens is the, the WNBA don't got a Dr. Bus. They don't got nope. They don't got Dame Lillard, nigga. They don't got <laughs> no, you. No, you know, but, cause you name the obvious now. You gave me no, tight. No, but, but, but wait, they he, don't got Pat but, Riley. They don't got Dr. LeBron. Dr. Bus did for regular men's basketball what the WNBA needs. What you have to remember in the seventies, the shit was barely on TV. It was yeah. It yeah. was the WNBA now. It was a small ass league. One smart. Genius motherfucker it was like, yo, let's let's make this shit a show. Let's make it showtime. Let's make it a spectacle. Put some women on there. Half naked. Yeah. Let them dance. Let, bring the celebrities. Make this a club. Yeah. So niggas came. And mm-hmm. so what happened was the world started to tune into NBA. The WNBA is still just like lame. So technically you you you're saying the WNBA should have male strippers. That's what you're saying. I think we just solved it. If the WNBA, wow, nigga. <laughs> Sometimes we be listen. listen. If the WNBA had male strippers, women would then Imagine watch. Imagine if they had male cheerleaders. Let's not say strippers. Relax. They ain't got to be strippers. Cool. Damn, male cheerleaders. If women, if the WNBA had male cheerleaders, more women would watch. No, but uh, that's weird because women would more rather watch women, women. than watch men. Hmm. They get like skeeved out. 
from male strippers, but a, a, a woman stripper, a, a female stripper, they love them. I really no. No, yes. Well, that has never. Trust me. Yeah, no. But they, if you if you took your lady to the club, she would much rather throw dollars and rub on a, a lady. Ass nigga. <laughs> yeah, she wouldn't do that. I'm, she, no, trust me. Yeah, trust yeah. me. Mm-hmm. She would much rather do that to a, another woman than a man. But well, all I'm trying to say is we haven't done the same thing with the WNBA that was done with NBA, and that's why I fuck with Dr. Bus because he made it a thing. And the NW, no, it, the, it was the an attraction. WNBA, it don't seem like a thing. It just seemed like it's just happening. It just seemed like a bunch of girls playing basketball, bro. Mm-hmm. And I know that's like, well, yeah, that's what it is. But that's but it's it, not. But that's what it seems like. It's but like, but it shouldn't it, seem. It should be. It should, it should, it should be, be larger than it life. Should be way larger. Yeah. And 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 yes, people are correct. If if Brittany Griner was the LeBron, she wouldn't be in Russia right now. So I get it. Um, who was who was the comedian? Bill Burr. He's a genius for pointing that out. Yep. Um, let me give you a quick Bill Burr joke. Mm-hmm. He was like, I understand how things come off racist being a white guy. Mm-hmm. He was like, it's the way you position your curse word. <laughs> he was like, yo, shit's hilarious. He was like, black people put the curse word on the on the back of the race. So he was like, yeah, this Asian motherfucker. <laughs> like, and he'd be like, oh. Okay. <laughs> he was like, but this fucking Asian. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> That's racist as shit. <laughs> he was like, if white people would learn how to just put the curse word. Oh wow, after, that's funny, nigga. I was like, yo. No, but that makes sense to me. Cause that's how we talk. But if you say it before, that's wild racist. Dog, but it's a ve- that's what nah, one of my that's... favorite comedians. Cause we say, oh, this Mexican motherfucker over here, this this fat motherfucker right here, this you know what I'm saying, this ugly motherfucker, right? But, but if you go, it's, it's an adjective. Yeah, Motherfucker is an adjective. Right, it adds on to what you. Yes. Say. But if you. Put it first, it points the finger. This motherfucking Asian. Yes. That's nuts. And I was like, yo, that's probably one. This bum-ass Jewish. Do you understand? This Jewish Jewish bum-ass nigga. If you say, wow. So this fucking Jew walked in. That's nuts. Or if you say this Jewish motherfucker walked in, it's like. Wow. I learned something about words. (laughs) When he told me that, I was like, yo, I was like, yo, that's. Wow. No, it really fucked me up because I was like, that is how black people cuss. Yes. It's motherfucker, whatever motherfucker. motherfucker. Yeah, motherfucker is the, is the yeah. thing, but everything else is just an accent. But when you flip Fat, those skinny, two black, words. black, white, yellow, green, ugly, flip cute. those two words, it makes the point be what, the, you know. Racist, the, nigga. The Asian, <laughs> yeah, the black. This, yo, this, this fucking black guy walks in. It's like, That's nuts. But if you say this black, this black motherfucker, motherfucker walked in. It's like. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the punchline. You wait, like, okay, yeah. Black motherfucker walked in, and, and, and that's, that's how he said it. He was nuts. like, you'd be like, I didn't even hear the cuss word. I'm waiting for what the fuck happened. The black motherfucker did what? <laughs> Great joke, dog. Wow. Like, Bill Burr is good, bro. I fuck with him. I fuck with him. Okay. Yeah. Wasn't that joke good though? No, it's hilarious. Yeah. So, because the, the motherfucking Asian is nuts, but that Asian motherfucker of the black. That's regular conversation. That's wild. It's just a wild concept. No, but he broke that down. And, that's and funny. I was like, for a fucking white guy. <laughs> yeah, that's nuts. You do it, it. You can't do that. I was like, yo, this dude. But this white ass nigga, yo, that makes the joke acceptable. That is nuts. So at the end of the day, man, it's been a pretty good show, man. I think we uh, oh, yeah. hit on all the topics. Yeah. Um, Honestly, th- this is one of the few times we covered our, every everything. topic. Yeah, well, I appreciate it. Wrap it up into one. Go ahead. Boom. Put you on the spot. Two seconds. Two seconds. Okay. Do 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 I was about to say, <laughs> rolling up in loud churches. <laughs> keep going, keep going. <laughs> fuck it. Rolling up in loud churches. I fuck with it. <laughs> yeah. Rolling up in loud churches. <laughs> Watching basketball. <laughs> with Bill Burr. With Boom. <laughs> rolling up in loud churches. While watching basketball with Bill Burr. While watching basketball with Bill Burr. 
Hey, we up out of here. That's it. Raise your fucking that glass. Yeah, g- give me that's some. That's it. So, Wade, uh. we got our topic, bro. Use this topic, please. No, bro. but that's a loud ass that, that, title. Loud. That's a long ass title. I mean. You said what again? Rolling up in loud churches. <laughs> rolling up at loud churches. Well, in loud, but roll it up, rolling up in loud churches, watching basketball with Bill Burr. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm fucking with it. Yo, we out of here. Yo, wait, that's the title, bro. <laughs> that's the title, bro. We out. <laughs> Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate facts, the support. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, 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 and click the bell for notifications, mm-hmm. and make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Peace.